in the situation along the front line the other night? Um, uh, to be honest, you know, it was, it was, uh, I think Josh Rosen kind of, kind of hit it on the head there. You know, they were doing things that really weren't to the book, but at the same time, they were pretty good front. And, you know, they, they uh, gave us their, like, their very best. So, you know, we, we, uh, I think we looked pretty good in the pass pro and pretty good in, uh, like, just, just, just against their run defense. So, you know, up, up. Up front, I, I felt that we were pretty successful minus all the penalties. Is that something that uh, defensive lines do sometimes, or is, was that just kind of extensive, or is that kind of a rarity for to even see defensive well, lines do that? You know, we 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 uh we go on many different snap counts. You know, so so you know, like like the rule in the book, I guess, is if you simulate the snap count at all, it's supposed to be a, a penalty. But you know, it's 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 something that we. We we have seen before, and we've you know our our defense does does it too. It's just a way to you know throw off a pin like just a pin pull scheme. So um, you know, we've we've seen it. So it's just something that we have to deal with. So why was this one so effective? Well, it's, it's, it's it, it was it was because of the like like the use of words with the shift. You know you like if if you sim simulate a snap count, if you say what the quarterback says. It's 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 a while moving. It gives it a greater. It's just it's just it's just against the rules. Yeah, but if it gives it a greater <laughs> emphasis, if you're if they're in motion, I wouldn't say that. It's just you know if you're saying what the quarterback says, then you know, okay. yeah. Do you guys kind of combat that by going silent more throughout that's, the game? That's that's uh, what we did in the second quarter and third quarter. You know, um, you know it it, it uh, just in like the first half it, it uh, got pretty loud there. So. You know, silent, I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty confident in our silent count, so we, we just decided to go with that just to kind of eliminate all the words from the equation. <laughs> <laughs> how is having Caleb at guard and Colton at, at tackle the uh, last couple of games, how has that changed things for you guys? Uh, you know, it, you know it, it really hasn't changed much. You know, Colton's getting valuable reps right now because really we, we – we were kind of hoping that he could just come play next season, but at the same time, you know, he's he's, he's doing a great, uh, uh, like just a great job right now. And I mean, Caleb's Caleb, you know, he's dependable, you know. So him him being a guard is the same thing as him being a tackle for us. It's it's, it's just you know, you know, he's going to do his job. How have you seen Colton develop the most since he got on campus? You know, he's. We like we already knew we had crazy measurables, you know. Just like you know, he 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 doesn't even know how to do a broad jump, and you know he, he jumps farther than everyone else. So uh, you know, he's just a freak athlete. He's a freak, uh, like just uh, in the in the meeting rooms, just how dedicated he is, like just to learn his craft and really just study the film. So you know, he's he he has he has the right mindset and the right skill set to be very successful. Caleb is sweet from tackle to guard. How big of a switch is that for him? Easy switch? Uh, it, it's a lot easier to go from tackle to guard than from guard to tackle. So I feel like he went the, went the right way. Um, you know, if we need to put him back out at tackle, I think we won't have a problem with that because he is a he is a very good uh, he's a very good tackle. So uh, you know he you know it might take a few snaps just to get back in like like just a swing of things and playing on the edge because they're. There's there's just a different angle you have to take in pass pro compared to you know what you need to take at guard like it's just it's just little just little things here and there but really it's I mean offensive lines offensive line so the, the tough job's anybody trying to play center though right oh, yeah. that's the hardest thing uh, you know it's it's no it's not and probably the hardest pump, probably pump you up man it's, you're, you're unique <laughs> well center's more of a you know a mentally demanding position center is you know it's but you're also surrounded by two guys or three guys so you know you you you, you aren't you aren't always on an island like tackles are very politically correct answer though, well done. Thanks. <laughs> okay. appreciate it appreciate it